This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you have an immigration problem, please get in touch with me uh, and I'll do my best to help you. Today I'm going to be talking about potential reforms to the Life in the United UK test. There are two reasons for this. The first is, uh, that, and this will come as no surprise, um, that the test has been criticised by a House of Lords committee as being no more than a random selection of obscure facts and subjective assertions and it requires urgent reform. Secondly, and most importantly for people watching this, the life in the UK test is vital for anyone seeking, say, indefinite leave to remain or British citizenship. Um, I've done videos in the past on, on how to pass the life in the UK test on this channel and it, it can prove quite tricky. Um, as I've mentioned, it's an important part for most uh, or all indefinite leave to remain applications and naturalisation applications and requires uh, uh, you to get 18 out of 24 of the questions about British culture, history, politics and values right, that's the 75% pass rate, to pass the test. Or at least that's the idea. The Life in the UK test has long been a bit of a joke, with many of the questions relating to aspects of British life that the majority of uh, most British born people would have absolutely no idea about. I have do a few, done a few online tests when I've been bored um, and a lot of the questions do not really relate to life in the United Kingdom, at least not now. One in particular asked when uh, what secondary did Christianity arrive in the United Kingdom? Was it some um, 1600 years ago or 1500 years ago? Uh, this is hardly relevant um, as to, in my view, as to whether someone can fit into UK life or has an understanding of it. I doubt very much whether many British-born people would know the answer. And again, it hints at crypto-racism, as there are a large number of people born in the United Kingdom, identify as British, who are not born to Brit uh, Christian backgrounds. And why they would expect to know when Christianity first arrived on these shores is quite beyond me. Oh, and just to make matters worse, in my view, the correct answer says that uh, is actually wrong, but that's another story and one for historians to sort out and not me. Indeed, uh, even previous Home Secretaries have described this as a pub quiz, and recently the Immigration Minister, Kevin Foster, has told the House of Lords uh, Justice and Affairs uh, Committee that the Home Office is planning an in-depth review of the test over the next year. Quite why it will take uh, 12 months to look at the test in detail is beyond me, and it seemed to be beyond the committee as well, who described itself as being astonished that a review hadn't already happened. The test has been criticised as glorifying colonialism and being out of touch with reality. Some people have even commented that it encourages a view of Britain which is factually wrong and will actually put people off uh, from becoming British in the first place. The idea in principle uh, of having a, a test of life in the United Kingdom uh, as, a, as opposed to a test of British colonial history uh, and, and, and Christianity is a good idea in my view um, as it will help uh, people uh, who want to stay in the United Kingdom show that they can assimilate or at least know a bit about the United Kingdom's culture. However, in my view, uh, as with much of the Home Office's uh, uh, material or the practices, it is simply unfit for purpose and needs to be revised. For now, however, we can only sit and hope uh, and continuing uh, to, to, to pray that uh, if one does, um, that the, the, the review takes place uh, fairly quickly. Quite why it needs to be an in-depth review um, is again beyond me, as are most of the questions. Um, uh, I think I managed to pass the test uh, most of the times I sat it back all of the times, but that's because I have an interest in history um, and that's not really a requirement um, uh, to be an amateur historian uh, to become a British citizen. So there you have it, uh, life in the UK test, a joke, need to reform, let's see what the Home Office do. Thank you for watching this video, I hope it's been helpful. If you have any questions on the life in the UK test or indefinitely to remain on becoming a British citizen or anything in particular that relates to immigration, do get in touch with me. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Do stay safe as COVID continues to increase. Um, this is Paul Turner, the Immigration Browser at Imperium Chambers.